just for fun, let's derive the quadratic formula. What is the quadratic formula? So this says that if I have an equation that looks like this, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, uh, which says that uh, some constant times a variable squared plus some constant times a variable plus a constant equals zero. It doesn't have to be x's, it could be time, it could be anything. If I have it in that form, then I can solve for x, and x would follow the quadratic formula. Negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. But where does that come from? It's not too difficult to derive this. You need a little bit of, you know, a couple tricks here and there, but it's really not too bad. You know, let's point out the, the obvious, maybe not so obvious, but if I just wanted to solve this for x, it's not so easy if I try to, like, actually solve for x. I can move c to the other side, but then I have two x's, right? I have an x squared and an x. I can factor out an x, but I still have another x term. So it's just not easy. If you had some uh, numbers in there, you might be able to factor. Uh, and that's really what we're going to do. We're going to do a generic factoring. So we're going we're gonna to factor this into a, uh, into a square. So we're going to get this in the, in the, if we got this in the form of, let's say, x plus d quantity squared equals something e, then I could solve for this, right? I could take the square root of both sides. I could say x plus d equals the square root of e, and then I could say x equals the square root of e minus d. That's what we want to do. This is how we're going to do it. So let's do that. How would I do this? So we're going to do a little trick. Let's start with our equation right here. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to start a new piece of paper because I want to take up as much space as possible and I don't want to be impeded by lack of space. A x squared plus B x plus C equals zero. So the first thing I'm going to do is subtract C from both sides. So now I have uh, A x squared plus B x equals negative c. Now I want to divide both sides by a, so I'm going to divide this by a, I'm going to divide that by a. Now I get x squared plus b over a x equals negative c over a. Now I want to turn this into a perfect square. And if, you know, think about this. If I had uh, x plus d quantity squared, where d is some constant, that's going to be x squared plus 2xd plus d squared. And so right here I have the x term and I, I want this b over to a to be twice that, right? So I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to need to, and I also need to have this d squared term over there to be d squared. So if I add the following to both sides, let's add uh, plus b squared over 4a squared plus b squared over 4a You can do whatever you want to the equation as long as you do the same thing to both sides. But now I get x squared plus bx over a plus b squared over 4a squared equals, let's write this backwards, b squared over 4a squared minus c over a. And so over here, you can see I'm starting to get it in the same form as this. That's cool. And, but over here, I have to simplify this. So let's just get a common denominator here. I'm going to multiply this by 4a over 4a. And so on the bottom, I get 4a squared. That also has 4a squared. So now I can combine those two. So I get b squared minus 4ac, starting to look familiar, all over 4a squared. Now on this side, I can actually uh, factor that into a perfect square. So this is going to be x squared plus uh, this, the square root of this, which is going to be equal to b over 2a. No, this is x. I'm sorry, x squared. And you'll notice if I go backwards, if I square this, I get x squared, boom. I get x times b over 2a. And then I get b times 2a over x. Add those together, I get two of them, which is b over ax. And then if I square that, I get b squared over 4a squared. So, I mean, it takes a little insight to see that, but you can see now that it at least is true. Maybe you didn't come up with that, but you can see that it is true. 
So that's this, and that's equal to b squared, that's equal to the other side, b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. Now I want to solve for x, so the first thing to do is to take the square root of both sides. So I take the square root of this side, I have to take the square root of that side. So let me draw a line there just so you know we're on a new thing. So this becomes x plus uh, b over 2a equals plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over the square root of this, but the square root of 4a squared is 2a. Things are starting to look very positive right now, aren't they? Now I'm going to add, uh, subtract that from both sides, and I get x. x, let me do it over here. x equals negative b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac, all of that over 2a. What do you know? There's a common denominator. So I can write that as negative, I want to put up here, x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. That is the quadratic formula. Uh, did I not say why that plus or minus is there? So when you take the square root of a number, it's, it's you have a plus or minus, right? So if I take the square root of four, it's plus or minus two. It could be two, it could be minus two. Minus two squared is four. Positive two squared is four. So when you take the square root, you get that plus or minus. And that is the quadratic formula derivation in under seven minutes, exactly seven minutes. Hope you like that.